Oh, hi. Ryan here again. And just going to have a little a preface to this other piece. And because um, it's really crazy and I don't know. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do some different stuff. And the best example is when I was watching uh, the Harry Potter series. And I'm always, the, the focus comes in and off this. Like I said, I would, we would take it as, wow. And I like the fact that the focus would soften and then sharpen and soft. I thought it was brilliant. No, it's just a stupid camera made by a certain humongous multi-billion that's my David Tennant I guess no, no, no forget it Shh. set it aside um I'm tired um what was I going to say I don't know that's wasted time the 15 minutes it's gone it's like Shh, sh, sh, sh. Okay. um anyway so the idea is this that when I was watching the Harry Potters and I'm always going to read the book first because the book is almost always better than the film so I read the book and I watch the series, love the series. And my kids have already been watching them and seeing them. I'm, I'm sort of off busy becoming a very good, really successful alcoholic, by the way. One of the few things I, I, well, I didn't, well, obviously, I wasn't really even a really a successful alcoholic because I didn't end up dead. I mean, like Jackson Pollock. A friend of mine, a friend of mine and a friend of his, drove him in the middle of the night in Connecticut, wherever it is, totally out in the boonies, you know, driving and driving like crazy. And they ground a halt in, the, in the, the cars there. This is like 19... 80, probably 70, something like that. 80, I guess. Middle of nowhere, lights shining on a tree. Turned to him and said, see, that tree? That's the tree Jackson Pollock crashed into. Is it Eve Klein? I always get them confused. There's, uh, I'm not talking, there's no one over here, by the way. There's just a mirror. It's sort of, you know, line please. You go like, line please. It's a gimmick. Okay, sorry. And then you shoot it and you fix it in post. And my favorite phrase. You know, um, on my, my, my gravestone, I don't put me into a grave, you know, uh, uh, Kurt Vonnegut notwithstanding. He said he'd fix it in post, and apparently, you know. So that was Pollock. Uh, you know. So the idea is this kind of thing when I'm watching the Harry Potter, and, and it's sort of funny because there's a parallel in Freud's interpretation of dreams also. That in, in dreams, one theory is we play all the parts. You play, you play the aggressor and the person, the positive and negative, and all these different whatever they are. Okay, I'm a, I'm a Jungian. Oh, to be young again, just take these little shots and become young. But if I am growing the beard and speaking more and more with Rast Austrian, I'm not an Austrian. Austrian? What is that? You from Australia? Uh -huh. Too much uh, Simpsons. So that's the idea. You haven't said anything. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I should put some content in. Uh, um, French's mustard. Do I get a residual for that? Really good stuff. This is the real mustard. Is it, and that it's mustard. It's it's it's. I'm sorry. It's uh, it's mustard seed and water. That's you know, but it's brand. Brand is, and I uh, I don't know anything about brand or brando. But the idea is I'm watching. Harry Potter, and uh, he's really losing it, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, yeah. And he's still doing so well in recovery, wasn't he? Yes. Uh, Robin Williams, minus three, plus two, Whoopi Goldberg, divide by seven, and you end up with soupy sales. What, what's, how much, what are they selling soup for? Or, uh, or uh, Campbell, what's his name? Icky Twerp. Cool. Anyway, okay, so I'm watching the Harry Potters. And I become Hagrid. I can walk around. I can live. I can breathe. I'm in the character. All right, I got the character, and I got the thing. Then, so for, and I'm again reading them always before the movie. Reading and reading, and reading, and getting the CD or the DVD or the VHS, or whatever. And then I watch it. So then I become Moody because I'm sort of a tall, big guy. So I become Moody. I'll fix it. I do have a little. I have a twin. Uh, 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 you know, it's prop. Props are. You know, they don't you need a prop. You just. You don't. Know, it's mine. You know. But I get a coat and thing, and I think Robin Williams in Jacob the Liar, absolutely superb film. Somebody had loaned him a coat, I guess, of their uncle who had died in Treblinka or one of the death camps. And uh, there's a regular book called The Sixth Million or The Seventh Million. The six million Jews, the seventh million was the gypsies, and um, being of that way too. And then there's the eighth million, or less, probably a small amount of me. You know, they send the Jews, the the gypsies, and the intellectuals. The guy with the cartoons who's doing the cartoons of Hitler, and the whole art history, and I'll avoid a whole thing about you know collage and stuff like that. Anyway, 
so, so that's it. I think I think it's kind of, so. Then I, I, I watch stuff and I do stuff and it becomes stuff. And so I'm doing Misfits now, and I'm going to, going to go back and watch Pi Aronofsky and of course Sean Gillette. Uh, Aronofsky got best director at the. Um, it's just Pi P I, which is odd because Chaos Theory and all that stuff supposedly has Pi. In it. I don't know. We just take we'll take the argument about Pi. Take it as read that there is an argument. Nothing's been decided. There's a hundred million different rep, uh, things. My, my favorite, favorite example, I'm going to have to set this aside, okay? Pi, is it random? Is pi random greater than real random random and stochastic random and periodic random and chaotic random and complexity random? Thank you. And that's, they, 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 they're not, they're, wor they're worse. Not, not that the Trekkies and the tri Trekkers, I'm a Trekkie and they're Trekker and new speak and old speak. Old school, old school. And the Whovians, they're my, I'm, I'm not going to, just at all, because what I want to talk about is evolution. You see, to me, again, evolution, and, and see, it's funny because as an artist, uh, I'll be seeing people who believe in teleportation and second lives, and or second life. Sorry, that's online <laughs> virtual reality. We all know that's. Uh, if you're just looking at this, zzzt, and then raise your memory. And then there's cases where the people pretend to be the men in black, and they're they're. It's like a bullying kind of thing. This thing is 15 minutes or something. You're going to follow people around. So this is the introduction. This is, I need an introduction to the introduction to the introduction to say, you know, uh, he's all right. We've got some, he's, he's just, you know, recovering alcoholic. And he's, he's doing all right. So he's just, but he was, he was yelling and screaming in the middle of the street. In, he was dressed like an Arab going to prayer. Yeah. And he was saying, number nine, number nine, number nine. That's why he's in, a, in observation in the southwest corner. Southwest or east west? Yeah, so the lines, once you look, mess up the line for me, it's page stage kind of thing. And most of you wouldn't even know that. Footnote, 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 footnote. So this thing is all about... I am surprised any of my projects ever get off the ground. But there is hope. Because you remember the Zucker Brothers and Dot. I always think it's the Warner Brothers and Dot. Um, the guy said, you got this thing, Kentucky Fried Theater. They've been producing it and so forth in California. He says, take two scenes and film those. And that's your, that's your, that's your, I don't know what the word is. I don't, don't do that. I don't do that kind of stuff. You know? That's your, uh, your, 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 your trailer. Your trailer is a trailer. Yeah. So they did uh, Zinc, Your World and Zinc. You know, these old kind of, see, eventually the, the references into culture get lost. I'm talking to some young kids. Everyone's young. Just take it as read. I'm older than every single person on this planet. Not really. The molecules change and rearrange. Where we are in the world, translate, put subtitles or titles this way, Chinese. I really need to learn. I've got books on Mandarin now. I've got some books. Japanese, still working on my Korean. I'm still working on French for Mon Dieu. Sacre bleu. The references get lost. Some, just some young people said, it's always like, I do Twilight Zone, I go, dee, 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 and they know the sound. Dee, 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 dee. It's like, what's that? But they've never actually seen it. So you can't see, but now Simpsons is at pastiche. There's a whole line of argument. Lit crit, film crit, uh, pop pop culture crit. Criticism we set aside. Take it as read, still decided, evolutions, and evolutions way over there now. It's to me, look at people that say, there is no Area 51. It's all a hoax. It's all a fraud. It's the total skeptic. Okay, put that over here. Uh, I forget which is right and left. And Republican, Democrat. As an artist, you're just looking at it. The reason I'm saying this is, that I think it's Eve Klein. It's one of the. It's Eve Klein. Eve. Uh, one of these people, the French guy. And the, the famous. You've seen this picture. I've, it's in my mind. I have to, that's why I have to put the okay order. Man in space in French. French, like a tabloid journalist. And the guy is going out like this, and he's jumped off. He literally has set the camera. Maybe he has a guy, a friend, person. He's jumped off, and there's no, no, no string, no net. There's no nothing. It's a sidewalk. And I'm just going to give you three. This is exactly what the whole argument of evolution. When you're ready, we'll do it. We'll make the, the we'll have to go to a very far part of the solar system. I would guess the other planet that replaced Pluto. But I don't destroy that one because it's a unique planet. And Pluto will always remain unique, right? We go there and we build a creatron, and it just sounds like Perry the Platypus, right? And uh, Musseldorfer, or what his name is, uh, Agent P. We'll have to have Agent. What's the uh, what's the most what's the least evolved of the big human? The least evolved people are human. Okay, and we're gonna make an evolutionatron, and we'll make it a creationatron, and turn them both on, and see what happens. And Larry Niven tells us, of course, you got to do one more experiment, and that's the one that destroys everything. 
you have to put one machine inside the other. And of course, Doctor Who's done that. Or the little bit piece. Space loop. I forgot what the question was. And I don't care. Ugh. Watch the film. There might be something there, I'm not sure. Oh, so think of Pi, think of uh, uh, Misfits, think of. Uh, no, there's always in, in science fiction, there's always that thing that. Oh, Young Frankenstein. And they go up and they say, Oh, oh it's really good. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a kind of Bavarian pudding. It's really good. She starts this. And, mm. and of course, it's Peter Boyle back there. Oh, you like it? Yeah, yeah, I did. I asked, you know, so, well, you made a yummy sound. I didn't make a yummy sound. We just went, hmm. No, I didn't. I just wondered what it was. I didn't say, you know, this is. And he goes, cut your eyes. Too late. And he directed Yellowbeard. Okay, that's it. 15 minutes post. This is the pre to the thing. The guy jumps off the building and eventually dies of broken bones. That's the acid test. Uh, Saint Cheval, she write, she puts the balloons with paint on them on a canvas and shoots them with a gun. And I'm going to say Robert Nathan, but I'm not sure. Robert, it's some Robert on him. His most famous thing, you know who I mean, I mean exactly. He's standing naked, he takes a big mouth of water, and he goes with the water. And that's called fountain. I believe he is the guy who, and as I understand, and again, happenings, documentation, document, document, document. You have to document. He had a gurney, a surgeon, all the kind of people around here, that are doctors and surgeons. He has someone shoot him in the leg, the lower part of the leg. Fun part of the leg to be shot in. It. I don't really know. I sort of know. And they fix his leg. That was the piece. Jim Dine, of course, the uh, Karpov, of course, Karpow, Karpov. Um, a woman whose name I can never forget. I, I can never remember, but she had that statement. It says, oh, if it gets to the point where I'm doing these performance works and only my friends and only people who are familiar with the work and a few random odd people come in and there's not people like that in Barnes. Is it Barnes? Um, Red Barnes? Oh, this is, there's a nickname. I saw one of his pieces in yeah, down here somewhere. Waco or something. I don't know where. Why are you doing stuff if no one's coming? But again, I do that all the time. You have to keep putting it out. And then uh, Thomas Rischio, I've talked to him, I said, you know, all we can do is put stuff out and hope. Mine, one of my things is I go to a place and I introduce a word into the space. I'll, I'll, I'll walk out to the front. You know, I'm always clothed, so not when I was drinking and half naked, crying in the street, having watched. Never drink, get, and never become drink, never become drunk and, uh, and an alcoholic, and never be drinking and becoming an alcoholic, and watching Hotel Rwanda. And they said, uh, you know, one of the guy, one of the cops actually brought me. In. I said, just start from now on, sir. If you're if you're drinking, don't don't watch that kind of movie. You know, he didn't quite say watch Disney, but you know, uh, don't don't look, Pugsley, don't look. But they're Disney. He said, uh, so Ed Harris. My, my three print. So you never thought I'd get back to it. The three print thing, the photograph, there's a copy. There's ten copies in the world. Two copies with the professors I sent copies to. My copies were all lost in the fire. And there's a copy with April. I can't forget her name. I can't remember. Anyway, whoever, she's now uh, in charge of, well, times change. Uh, the Southwest Print Conference. April Krantz. University of Iowa, someplace. Thanks, Ed semicolon, or thanks Ed, Ed Harris, of course, you know, Pollock study number five, cool, you know we're going, focus, focus, stop killing, might be good, huh, entropy, entropy, later, I mean, 15 minutes,